All right, I brought this old piece of furniture from the basement. Again, another children's piece of IKEA furniture. Let's get it into the off-grid cabin. Okay, let's get the unit in that back corner and see if all the measurements worked out. Okay, it's in the corner beside the flip-up table. Let's get those drawers in the bottom. I'll have to anchor it to the wall a little bit also. There it is in the corner beside the flip-up table. Just gives me some more storage space. Be able to put some more things in those drawers. In fact, I'll start clearing out that hanging, whatever it is, and put those documents and various other supplies in the drawers to begin with. So this side of the shed, which faces west, takes a beating in the fall and the spring. I'm going to take that product that I put on my deck at home and put it on this wall here. I know it's not the exact product I should be using for this application, but it's what I have available and it's going to be better than nothing. There it is, the first coat is on. I've run out a little bit over here. I'll get some more product and uh, complete the front of the building in the coming days. Okay, the generator's running. I don't know if you can hear it. Gonna let that set a little bit and then I'll drill it in, but this caulking is gonna hold it in place for sure.
Okay, time to put some of the last pieces of the trim in place. sure my gun and cable are going to reach this far. Yes, they will. Well, hey everyone, and thank you again for joining me for another video. Um, again, a lot of time spent just trying to finish up this little off-grid cabin, cabin, getting some trim work and some painting done out front, additional trim work on the inside here, and I've gotten to the point on the inside of the cabin um, concerning the little kitchen counter area, the sink, this storage unit over here to my left, and the trim in the fit and finish on the inside that it's nearly done. I've got some trim work to do around the windows, maybe some supports for those shelves that I talked about in a previous video. I will trim up and finish up this little back room here, but it's literally, it's six feet by 10 feet. It's very hard to get a camera in there and film effectively. So I'm not gonna showcase that. So what I think what I'm gonna try to get done in the coming videos, I need to get some work done on my Ford 9N tractor. I've gotta take out the seals or replace the seals on the hydraulic system. Um, there's additional wiring, the initial steps on the wiring that I want to do on the Big Red Barn. Um, I want to get my insulation package order. You won't see much about that until it arrives. It's going to arrive about four months from now just because there's such a delay in large um, orders like that or, or materials like that given the, uh, the problems created with the pandemic and producing these kinds of materials. So I've got work I've got to do on my trailers. Um, it's an endless list of little projects that I'm creating for myself out here, which I enjoy doing. And uh, I'm going to dive into some of those in the next couple of videos. So again, thank you for uh, checking out the video today. And I uh, look forward to seeing everybody back next week. Take care.